Okay. Let's see. What is up, you guys? It is your girl, Dreamer. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I hope I'm loud enough, but I am back with a read, okay? We are going to get started. I was called to do a reading today. And I just want to start by saying, you guys, it is super important in this time to protect your energy, to really, really protect your energy okay i'm i'm sensing if you're you might be having headaches if you're having any headaches to make sure that you you know just drink a lot of water um massage it out a lot of times when you're having headaches it could be that like people are speaking on your name people are talking about you or people are thinking about you or you can be thinking about a lot or you may have a lot on your plate so just pay close attention to that okay heavenly father our mother our angels our ancestors our father our mother our angels our ancestors above i ask you to come into this moment yahweh our higher creator to whatever messages that our following collective need needing to know Whoever has been guided into this moment to see this video, allow me to be the messenger to transfer the messages of everything that it is that we need to know in this moment. In Yahweh's name, amen. And we thank you for this moment. Protect us as we go through this reading. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's, you have a lot of just, you're getting ready to experience a lot of tower moments. There's going to be a couple of tower moments on its way. Look at that. God. Mm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> For this to be the first one. Okay. God. 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 When you are like questioning. Oh my gosh. A bee. Ah! Is it on me? Oh. It's on. A bee. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know where it's at. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, bees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared of the bees. Is it God? Is it God? I feel like it's on me. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know it's on me somewhere. That is crazy. Oh, Lord, where is it? <sighs> there you are. Holy cow, you cannot do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. <sighs> oh. And I know the moment I sit back, it's about to come. Oh my goodness. That bee landed. That was Ashe. I try not to get scared with bees, but dang, they still scare me. Oh man. Okay. Holy cow. <laughs> oh. God, please. I know. Ashe. Oh my goodness. That was Ashe. <laughs> Yo. I love bees, but like they still can sting. That was a trip. Oh my gosh, that was all Shay. Way to interrupt. Oh my goodness, she's gonna come back. Okay, let's continue this message. Okay, so yes, we have God, right? So this is the thing. You have to understand that like, when you are a believer and you believe that there is more to this world, when you 
believe in like you're you're believing in yourself i always say that god lives within we're always looking on the outside of the world to kind of find ourselves when really we need to dig like deep within like within us within the traumas that we've had the pains that we have the everything that just the things that we know we need to work on to become a better version of ourselves we get so caught up because of the way we are upbringings you know the way we were raised when you're a child you know you're of innocence and it's it's the experiences that we go through so god to me is like god lives within and god is that power that source that energy that really push you to the limit let me grab that <gasps> you guys look at that this says oh my gosh all powerful just flew all powerful all powerful ah shay i hear you all powerful god is everything and that's the power that you get and it's like when you know who you are and you're choosing to not just read about God, but to really speak about God and be about God, when you are stepping into that divine, you're going to have a lot of enemies coming against you. You're gonna have a lot of people who randomly just won't like you because of the light that you bring. You'll have people like try to make you feel bad for being good they will make you feel bad for being good because hurt people hurt people ashe i receive that so understand that and understand that we need god when you are going through a very like any time when you're going through the good and when you're going through the bad we need we need god pay close attention to what you need i'm still thinking about that b right like that was crazy i'm like the B to me symbolized Ashe. If you don't know who that is, do your research. And I've been reading a lot of, I've been watching a lot of videos of readers and they're always talking about yellow. Lately, I've been getting about the color yellow, but that like scared me because it, it's something so small, but a B is so powerful. It has the power to make me just go crazy right now. And I'm like, where is it? Because it landed and it landed right on the card. And it was in my hand and it, I, I was not going to kill it, but I was so scared. So when, you, but that's, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like we need, we need that cord. Oh, here it comes. It's back. Oh my God. Stop it. freaking me out because it's so freaking bro yo why is this be messing with me right now come on please stop please I'm trying to do a reading <laughs> I was talking about it and I manifested it back. Okay. I, I like it, it it trips me out because it's like it'll be so far away, but I can see it like coming straight at me. And you like you're making the eyes of it. It's like tripping me out. Oh my gosh, let me put on my crown. But I feel like that's why I'm attracting it because of my crown and it's ashe, but it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let me hurry up and get this reading up. <laughs> I need to relax. I just feel like it keeps coming back. But I, okay, maybe I just need to relax. Just I get nervous. I get nervous with bees. I do. Okay, just trust. All right. Just trust. Ooh. Okay, but in that moment, like I'm saying, you see how I'm. You gotta trust. Just trust. <laughs> positivity spread love and positivity 
you have to ask yourself, would you rather want to be a negativity or positivity? When you're in a negative situation, always try to like shift your mind into a positive situation. You know, positive positivity will get you further in life than you know. Live each day, being positive each day, being happy each day, just doing the best that you can each day. A lot of love to give. Yes, you have a lot of love to give and you get that from our higher creator. Give that love. Prevent allowing anybody to make you feel bad for wanting to give love. Love is love is the answer. Oh, we have 777. 777 is a very powerful angel number. It means the heavens. It's also <gasps> I thought I heard a bee. I heard something. Oh, man. You know what it is. I just heard something. That was loud. That was weird. I heard like a... Like a... Mm. Someone's trying to interfere in this message. Okay. Okay, so what I'm feeling in this moment is like you're getting ready to have like, remember I was talking about tower moments. There's, there's like a lot that are, for some reason you are on people's mind and they feel as if you're not hearing them, that you're not understanding them. They're blaming you for where they're at in life. And for some reason, they're, it, it, it's definitely the enemy or it could just be jealousy or a lack of or something about you make other people uncomfortable. But for some reason, something is trying to stop you. Oh, yes. Protect yourself. Remember I was saying protect your energy. So this is why this, I need to, this is what needs to be said. It has been, it has been revealed to me that someone has been doing like black magic or some type of like, praying against you type of thing trying to stop you and it's been revealed for a while but it's like been very 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 revealed lately there's a lot of people that for some reason they you may want to be the person that brings the teamwork together or bring people on like you believe in a change and making a difference in the world but something about you makes them not feel right and it makes them uncomfortable and it makes them question you so instead of them working with you they work against you and they pray against you like they're praying against you and it's not just you have like a couple you have one person and like I, I feel like it's a female energy who's definitely like doing some like wicked type of like getting getting themselves caught up into some deeper magic type of thing a dove a dove just flew past me they're doing some very very demonic they're playing with fire and then you have some who are just speaking against you because they want you instead of you guys doing it together for some reason they want to do it before you before you do it, before you make it, before you become like, it's like they're in competition. When people come around you, they, you make them feel as if you're in competition with them. You have some who are just speaking, just speaking bad, gossiping. That's where the headaches are coming from or hearing stuff in the ear. That's crazy. That was a loud, that wasn't even like a ringing. It was like, I heard a voice, like it was a deep voice. That's crazy. That's amazing because God is revealing it. And then there's a bunch of birds right now. So you may be seeing a lot of birds. 
pay attention to birds, butterflies. Those are signs from the ones that have passed on. Bees are ashe. That is, see, the first bee, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk about the, cause it might come back. <laughs> but yes, that's why I think I heard that because I had to say that. So you have some that are speaking against you and you um, have some that are actually doing stuff to try to interfere. Speaking it, playing with magic, playing with dark forces, or actually doing stuff to kind of interfere with you. So you need to protect yourself. You need to pray. You need to pray. Two birds just went by, hummingbirds, two hummingbirds. Look up what birds spiritually mean and symbolize to you. Um, understand that you are protected, but continue to pray. Like every day, continue to pray. Every day, continue to pray. Every day. Yeah. Message received, anything else, Spirit? May I continue? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you know him and have seen him. John 14. Oh, it, the bee is back. Please, be. Please. Please, why are you doing this to me? I just be like, the, the beat, the buzzing. You, should I fold my ear? See, I be, I know how to fold my ear. I gotta fold my ear. <laughs> Cause I be having a thing that be, bees will get in your ear. Let me cover it so it won't distract me. All. <laughs> okay. John 14, 6 through 7. Every time I'm speaking of like God, the O'Shea comes. Look at that. So when you get the chance, definitely look up John 6, John 14, 6 through 7. I love that name, John. It's like kind of, it's not like Jesus, but it's like the J, Jesus. Yes. Okay. But anyway, so like that was powerful because that's why things happen to you when you have to understand you you, you got to really think about it you have people who sit around and put you on you are on their mind 24 7 they want to cause you harm because of who you are because of the light that you have because of the blessings that you receive instead of them working on what they can do what they want to do they want to focus on you every day they want to put all their instead of them getting closer because all that does is when you are putting so much focus onto somebody else you are taking time for from yourself and you you know it's important for us to grow to grow you have to ask yourself just what do you what do you believe in what is your faith what is it that you want but if if people are really like sitting around and that that is that's mental that's not something that you want to do that will drive you insane for for this is what i forgot to say that's why the bee came back i can unplug my ears that's why you okay bring it back give me a second you guys i hear a lot For those who are out there doing that type of stuff, that are sitting around um, trying to trying to, I gotta fold my ears back. For those that are trying to, oh, that's why this message. You didn't want this message because this is for the ones that are doing that stuff. That's speaking bad. That's playing with all that stuff to focus on other people to harm other people all that is going to come back to you it may you may not know when but it will come back to you you have to be very careful i am speaking from experience 
um, when I say what you say about people because there's been times where I've been upset and I'll get mad. That's why they say do not speak when you're upset because you'll say things that you'll later regret. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sometimes sorry doesn't get the full apology. So you have to really like understand like so if you're playing with like forces like I'm I one thing about me people can say whatever they can be like oh this girl plays with cards she's weird she's whatever people say you know how it is when you are so spiritual people want to call you witchcraft and all this demonic stuff because you have knowledge you have power but guess what they did that to jesus christ as well hate to burst your bubble but they did they crucified him because of the power that god gave him because he was God's, he is God's son. Jesus symbolizes us. So if you are out there using your power to harm, who was also powerful? Biblical talking, who was also powerful? Who used their power for harm and end up where? There is good and bad. We know this, right? There's good and bad. So if you are using your powers for bad, I think the outcome will most likely be bad. But if you are using your powers for good, your outcome is most likely gonna be good. And that's how life is in general. So for those that are sitting around wasting their time on other people because for some reason you're obsessed with them, you have to stop that. This is your warning. And for those that are getting the the how do you say the outcome the the foolery the the pain of the being blocked because of what they're doing continue to pray because your outcome is going to be so blessed you are chosen for a reason and nobody can change that the power lives within you <gasps> unchangeable unchangeable I didn't even see that word. Unchangeable. Unchangeable. Un, let me keep repeating it. Unchangeable. 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 No matter what anybody try to do, they can't change what God has for you. Your blessing is your blessing. Your power is your power. Your reason for being here is your reason for being here. And that goes for those who are in a low vibration. Uplift your vibration and focus on you. Get to what you need to get. Because it's going to be worth it. This is a big deck for me. It's going to be worth it at the end. Look at the bottom of that. God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. Real love exists. Yes, if you are healing your heart, understand that real love is out there. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, definitely. Clear your mind. Yes, pay close attention to your mind. Release those negative thoughts that you may have. Because what you think is very important. Plant the seed. Yes, plant the seed. Um, if that could go from an idea, you might have an idea that you really want to do. Do it. Do it. Fight through the bad times. Fight through the bad times. I'm just hearing spirits say, just go through this. Create. Create, okay? Create. It's time for a change. It is definitely time for a change. You're probably going to... Movement is getting ready. You might be able... You might be moving soon, going to a, a new location. It doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. That is a true fact. It doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. You know my friend said to me shout out to wendy she said to me the other day um a setback is a major comeback and i love that because it's true when things happen everything happens for a reason and it may not go how you want it to go but when you have opportunities when one door closes another door opens so understand that like it 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 we as people we like are the younger generation nowadays we have no patience 
and we want it all quick we want it now because of social media plays a big part in that we want it all now because we see the glam life you know no one wants to work for it it doesn't matter how slow it go as it just know it's coming take your time if you're trying to change something about you you don't have to rush the process as long as you're taking your time with it and you'll be surprised how quicker it comes when you stop trying to rush things look in the mirror look in the mirror and realize your beauty you know something i like to do i like to pray in the mirror when i look at myself i cry in the mirror when i look at myself i um say what i'm thankful for in the mirror when i look at myself because i see like who i am it's a way to love yourself i feel like when i do that and i also feel like it also goes down to like people that judge you and try to talk about you allow that not to bother you because it's something that they need to do when people don't like something about you it's something they don't like about themselves and we all are mirrors we reflect off of each other so try not to give so much into that continue to put your works in your works you got to put you first you got to choose you first you know you it's okay when people show you who they are believe them when people are just using you and abusing you and playing with your emotions and just making you feel bad and not uplifting you not really understanding you constantly wanting to fight you constantly wanting to bully you just want control over you just want it their way or the highway when you realize that there are people who you really are like you know what i just can't take this you're bring you are bringing me down more than you are lifting me up understand that you have to put you first if that means i gotta delete you as a friend i have to unfollow you as a friend i have to block your number as a person i have to lose all contact with you if you have to put you first it is okay because when you are mentally going through something and you are really trying to be better right now um my struggle was drinking and i say was because it's past tense that's something i was like it holds my power back and i i felt like i am better than this but when so many people was telling me and trying to have me and do it their way it really would make me want to do it even more but when I finally was like, you know what? I gotta clear all my energy. I gotta take time off of social media. I gotta get my mind right. I gotta step into my aura, step into who I am. And when I realized who I was and the problem of why I drank and why I wanted to do it to escape, I'm I was able to let it go. And now I'm in this journey where I'm, I'm in a, a healing journey that continues because when you're healing, it's a journey. It's something that it, it continues. It continues. So I'm excited when you go to AA and you see other people who are like, oh, it's been two months. It's been five months. It's been a year. It's been five years. It's been 10 years. And, it's, and they get their little badges and their coins. It's so amazing to be around a community too who also you can relate to. So you have to do everything in, on your time, okay? And it's okay to, you know, put you first. So some you got to choose you. That's my motto. That's what I've been living by. I'm like, listen, I might piss a couple of people off, but like I got to choose what's best for me. Because if I, if I do not, it's going to bring me in a lower vibration. Oh my goodness, a beautiful blue bird just passed by. beautiful so beautiful beautiful you are beautiful something about blue blue ocean i know my favorite color is blue maybe <laughs> maybe your favorite color is blue Something about blue. Oh, um, let's see. 
Wow. Look at this, you guys. Something about blue, right? Dive deep. And you know who I get this from? Infinite Waters. And the bluebird just went back. I wish I can show you guys. Maybe after I'll try to capture it. But I was just watching um, Infinite Waters. And then, you know, this is something he'd be like, dive, like, deep. Like, you, you, I can't think of it right now, but he'll, he'll say dive deep, you know. And that's something I got from him. Like, um, you know, you want to, you want to really, like, dive deep, like, into your knowledge, into your power, into your knowing, into your, your, your blessings, into your soul, into everything, like, especially knowledge, water, that's so, so amazing. Okay, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. Yeah. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. And that's why it's important to, when you start thinking negative, you got to work hard to change your thoughts. You got to stop thinking people are out to get you. You got to really start fooling with the people who understand you and rock with you and, you know, hang out with people who want to, want to build you up and be better you know forgive me someone wants your forgiveness or you want someone's forgiveness take care of your body and your mind yes it's time you might be like not feeling too good you might be eating bad um you might be overthinking over analyzing yeah what's really going on something may be going on you may be confused about a situation or someone's trying to worry you someone's thinking about you wondering like how what you how you feel about them shift your energy yeah you shifted your energy on a couple of people i'm feeling like a good amount of people you had to you had to you had to It's so crazy because my cards be putting me to work. My spirits are, my angels and <laughs> ancestors are funny. They be like grabbing my cards at more than once. This one just felt that y'all saw how that one did. When I love, I love hard. Yeah. So that could be you feeling like you love someone hard. Or someone felt like they were like they did everything in their power to love you. Um, it could also be like someone is like too obsessive because they're they want control when they love hard They love a little bit too hard a little bit too much or they're mean to you, but s someone misses you For sure. Someone's thinking about you a couple of people are Got a couple a couple of people on your mind. Why do y'all keep falling? Maybe someone feels like they're all over the place or they're falling without you. All purpose. Everything happens for a reason. All purpose. This was your purpose. You had to, you have to choose you. You had to choose you. You chose you in a situation. Work for a cause. Yeah, you put you first. You're working towards something that means a lot to you. Or it could be like you're not sure where to work and you're trying to find what it is that you want to do. What you allow is what will continue. Yeah, what you allow will continue. So yeah, I'm getting that like you have to step up and stand your ground. Sometimes people who are so nice and all about God and so kind, they people take them for granted and they use them and abuse them. I hear a baby crying. So yeah, someone put you in pain. A couple people put you in pain and didn't even think twice to do it. They did it to the point where it hurt you and now they may want forgiveness or it might be vice versa where you did something where you want forgiveness, but there's a lot of crying. There's a baby baby children children like like kids are affected by this 
something's going on where kids are affected by what happened or you know you might not agree with how certain people might get mad because you might be a type of person who's like really loving and kind and it might make people feel uncomfortable because when you're like of light you know you're kind you're not just kind of babies but you do draw children babies and animals and like bugs and like not really bugs but like bees and ladybugs and butterflies and stuff like that so but there's a lot of like crying going on you could be crying that means you're releasing whenever you cry you're releasing yeah it's okay to cry it's okay to cry Look to your children. Someone might be pregnant. We have self-esteem, okay? Which means confidence, confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. It's time for you to build up your self-esteem. We have faith. Yes, it's time to have faith. You need to have faith in everything you do. Hope, support, miracles, and spirituality. When hoping, like, having faith, I feel like is it's similar to hoping, but when you have faith, it's like, it's just a knowing. You'll start speaking it, and then it'll, like, really start happening. So, you know, you want to, like, pay close attention to that. We have the third eye chakra. Yes, your third eye is open third eye chakra pay close attention pay close attention like i said protect your your third eye is open so when your third eye is open you're sensitive to a lot of thoughts your mind it's open you can see between the bullshit and people know that and they can't stand that about you they'd be like what the hell <laughs> sound yes pay attention to sound right mute 332 33 um, do your research on that number, angel number three and 33. Music, silence, rhythm, vibration. You may love music. You may sing, you may rap, you may play an instrument. Um, pay close. Do Music is like your happy place. So, you, you know, focus on like pay close attention to to the music you're listening to see what messages you can get from like certain music that's playing forgiveness yes you are wanting forgiveness or someone is wanting forgiveness letting go healing growth and compassion let me tell you something forgiveness is like the strongest thing you can ever do just because you forgive a person doesn't mean you need to be back in their life but when you truly forgive, it also means that you're not holding any hate, you know, you let it go. So it's time for you to forgive a situation and understand that regardless of the situation, whoever you blame in the situation, what happens, happens for a reason. When God takes the will, God takes the will. Okay, let's finish up. finish up oh that thing went passion yes focus on your passions focus on the things that make that your heart really like i i want this like this is what i want like this is what i want desire fun fulfillment and joy because passion is it's it's fiery it's it's your heart chakra it's everything it's what drives us it could be your family it could be whatever it is that you're passionate about whatever you're working towards continue that okay this will be the last one let it not fly right in front presence yo presence is like right now in this presence okay and it's four four awareness attention reality and connection and ready for this it's a freaking bee 
see i wish i could be like her when bees come and just like look at it but i be see the bees will be so far and this is how it feels how close it is but that is how powerful a bee a little freaking bee is it's like it'll make it it just made me like my hair is from a bun from down that is how it'll make you get out of your seat so awareness attention reality and connection understand who in the f you are because you are more powerful than you 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 have no idea you have no idea how powerful you are right now is what matters and because of how powerful you are people are going to try to backstab you people are going to try to hurt you people are going to try to do everything in their power to get you off of your course but because of the power of God and who you are because of your strength and your angels and your ancestors, you are protected. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. Stay blessed. You are amazing. Understand you are love. You have love. And continue to do what it is that you got to do to live the life that you want to live. Jesus' name and Yahweh's name. Amen. I love you guys. If no one's told you that they love you, just know your girl really do. Forgiveness. Let forgiveness take over. <laughs> Peace.